Sometimes having glasses in a photo can be the bane of your existence. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to A, remove glasses, B, straighten your glasses, and as a bonus, C, we'll remove glare from glasses. Let's get on it. In this first example here, we got a great picture of this couple here, but as you can see, the guy's glasses are a bit crooked. So what we're going to do is we're going to straighten them for him. Plus, we'll show you what it's like if he didn't have any glasses at all. So now, the first thing you'll do is you'll kind of look over here in my layers. You'll see that I got a couple things going on here. Anytime I use a JPEG, I always use the neural filter, JPEG compression removal, just in case if there's any blocks or anything that need to be removed. So the first thing we're going to do, let's zoom in here is we're going to use the new selection brush tool. It's kind of a replacement for a quick mask and I think it works really good. Let's get right in here. Make your brush a little bit larger. Now one of the issues, and it's not really an issue, it's kind of a cool thing. If you were to go around the glasses in one go, it's going to pick everything. Now we don't want that. We want the original skin and eye and everything. Yes, you can hold down your Alt key and erase it all, but let's not do that. Let's just go around the clock. Let's start with 12. We'll grab the earpiece and we'll go to six, lift up. Three, we'll lift up and back again. Now we've got the whole thing. Let's grab the nose piece here. And again, 12, go around to six, three, we'll grab the other earpiece, and back to 12. Now, if you want to see what it's like, just click your selection here and go to the quick selection tool, and you can see where everything is. If it's not exactly how you like it or if you're missing something, hit the selection brush again. And let's just kind of fix it if you want. We're missing a bit here and a bit here. And you think, if you think you've got too much, Alt key, just kind of roll it back so we can keep a little more of the original skin and everything here. If you see what I mean, too much, remove it. Let's go back to the op selection and we've got a good selection of the glasses. No, but I, what I don't like is around here. So again, go back, reduce your brush if you have to, and just add a bit. Remove what you don't want. Okay, this is great. I like this. So what we'll do is we'll hit Control J and throw the glasses onto a new layer. Click on that layer, on the glasses layer. Let's, let's name that layer glasses. Let's control click into the box and bring back that as a selection. Let's choose the layer underneath. Now, if you've got your contextual taskbar up top, hit the little thing here and let's go to expand selection. I'm going to go about four pixels. Now we got a good space between the glasses and everything else, grabbing a little bit of skin. Now in generative fill, let's type in remove, generate. Now it'll do its thing. And that first one isn't good, but the second one, it looks really good. Third one, let's change the prompt to remove glasses. Now we got another selection. Let's get rid of the other selections we don't want, the ones with the glasses. Now let's check to see what's the least amount of things moving between hair and his ears and his eyes, and possibly the shadows on his nose. We'll go through them. I'm digging this one here, number two. So let's remove the others to save space. What we've got here is a great pick of his glasses removed before, after. Now, if you do want the glasses in, if they insist on having the glasses in, which is cool, let's reactivate the glasses. Let's put a mask on it. Now what we can do, control T to transform. We'll turn it a bit around and we'll lift it up a bit, up and over. 
Now his glasses are straightened, before, after. But we've got a bit of stuff that we don't need. That's why we have the mask. So let's go to your brush tool, make sure you're coloring with black. Let's make it like 3%, make your brush small. Now let's just remove these extra things we don't want. There and here, a little bit of the nose. All right, now his glasses are straight. Before, after, he's looking good. Now in this second example here, we got a great picture of this couple out on the town, but the thing is they've got glare in their glasses, a biggie for people wearing glasses and taking pictures. So what we'll do is we'll remove the glare from them. Zoom in a bit here. Let's do hers first. So we'll go over here to the selection brush tool and let's just color in what we want removed. We're trying to save as much of her eye and everything else as we need. Plus, if you want to have the glare or and or light removed from the glasses as well, let's just color in those spots as well. Make it as pro as possible for her. Remove a bit of the glare over here and over here. Now you see we've made our selections. Generative fill, remove. And everything's gone. And we have three selections. Number one, number two, and number three. I like number two. Now if we have to, because there's a little more glare there, we'll create a new layer and call it removals. And we'll use the actual remove tool Bring it down here and just color in what we don't want. And I always have remove after each stroke unchecked. Enter. And gone. Great stuff. All right, now let's choose the original picture again. And we'll go over to the guy. Once again, we'll use the selection brush tool. And we'll color in exactly what we don't want. It'll fill it in for you. We want to preserve as much as we can of the skin and the eye. Go up to Generative Fill, Remove. And gone. Everything's just gone. Let's check the second one out. Not bad. Not bad, but that first one is great. I like that. Now, if you want, again, click back on the Removals. Go to your Remove tool. And let's just get rid of some of this extra stuff that you may not want. Enter. And bam, it's gone out of there. Let's do two more parts. This part right here and right here. Enter. And I'm digging it. Let's zoom out. Very cool. And what we'll do is we'll put everything in a group and we'll just call it repairs. Before, after, before, after. Now let's see if you also want as a bonus, let's go to the removals again, zoom in and let's say you wanted the shine removed. So let's use the remove tool again. Put a dot there, a little bit here, a little bit here, and a dot there. Zoom out, enter. And the shine is removed. This is great stuff with the remove tool these days. I'm digging it. Well, as you can see, you can easily remove glasses, straighten glasses, remove glare, remove glare from skin, all from using the selection brush tool, the remove tool, and generative fill. Photoshop is kicking butt these days. If you're getting anything out of my tutorials, please like and subscribe. That'd be great. I'm done from Photo 911. See ya.